and my location, I would definitely say Italy. So maybe later on when I'm established, like career-wise, I would definitely love to move to Italy. I feel like that's been the nicest place I've ever been to. And I just feel like me and the people like connect the most. Like I, I don't connect with people in Germany here. The overall like, um, like the energy of the people of like the whole entire country really is very different from my energy. And I don't feel like that's, I feel like that's why I'm quite unhappy here. Um, and in Italy, it's like the opposite. So yeah, I feel like I would definitely get along there. I love the, um, the, um, like the nature there, the places there, the history. Um, so I, I'm sure I will be much happier there. Um, and also it would be pretty easy for me to learn the language. I've had Italian in school and it was like quite similar to Romanian, like it is obviously still quite similar. So living there, I feel like would not be so challenging to learn the language and especially understand. I would definitely understand quite a bit before I can speak properly. Um, excuse me, hold on. My favorite clothing brands. I love your style. Thank you so much. It's rare for me that, oops, sorry. Mm -mm. What's going on? It's rare for me that I find like a lot of brands where I could say I love their entire selection um, because either the brands that I really like are super expensive or the brands that I like where I can find like cute stuff don't really have like an, I can say the brand I love because they don't have like a good selection of clothes in my taste. So usually I just like, hold on, like this is so getting so annoying. Shut up. Sorry. I had to mute somebody. <laughs> um, but I feel like, yeah, what was I saying? I get so distracted so easily. Um, there, it's very rare, especially like um, shops in stores. Like I do like Zara for a lot of the clothes, like lately, especially for a while. I couldn't like their stuff because I don't know. They change like their trends and like, you know, vibe for collections very often. So for years I have not been into their stuff, but um, lately definitely really liking their stuff. Other than that, maybe just like online shopping. I used to like Topshop quite a bit, but they like um, closed the Topshop here and I don't really tend to buy anything from Topshop anymore, like order. Um, I don't know, I just like really going into stores looking at what they have maybe 90 percent of the things that they have i won't like but there will be like five to ten percent that i will feel like interested in depending on the store um so it's just literally for me it's a lot of scouring and a bunch of like thrift shopping thrift shopping flea market shopping that's for me the highlight of shopping um because I can find like the things that I really feel like attracted to mostly. The person that I muted was not asking anything. They were just like commenting like a bit weird, like, uh-huh, no English, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so I, I was just getting really tired of the constant like spamming, if you will, um, of like incoherent comments. That's what it is. Um, what are your favorite concealers to use for a no makeup look? I rarely do like a super no makeup look. <laughs> um, mm, give me a sec. So the Dior concealer I would definitely wear with like a um, foundation. So not by itself because it's quite thick. Um, my favorite concealer for that kind of look is this one. The I Love Revolution from Makeup Revolution, the Heartbreakers Concealer. I feel like nobody really talks about this, but it's so good. Especially if you like, like, um, excuse me, like a quiet, um, like medium coverage that is very, <clears throat> very light in consistency, blendable, 
and comfortable and quite hydrating, but not like super oily or nothing. Your voice is so pretty. Thank you so much. Snow White. I love Snow White a lot. <clears throat> Wait, what's going on? Just the facts about what? <laughs> mm. You remind me from Poppy from Wild Child when she has brown hair. Literally, that movie constructed me. It made me, it birthed me. I love Wild Child so much. It definitely Poppy, Poppy Moore, one of my favorite characters to ever exist. <laughs> so thank you. Um, okay, okay. My nails, I can show them to you. Do you want to take like a But I'll definitely make a video on my nails, like showing them. If you need them for inspo or something, um, I'll post it and you can have that like anytime. Like if you wanna get your nails done like this, I'll just post like a video and you can save that or screenshot or something and show it to your nail tech. Um, so that's awesome. I'll definitely do it. You give me a lot of peace. Thank you so much. You guys do too. I'm having a lot of fun and despite some rude people coming in sometimes trying to start drama or whatever um i feel really grateful to have you guys super peaceful loving and funny people um so i'm really grateful for you guys too um you're literally so ethereal thank you uh wait i oh i'm so sorry i don't understand spanish I'm so sorry. Um, people are being so rude in the comments. I'm not seeing that, thankfully. So if if you guys point me to those comments, I'll like mute them. But aside from that, like big fuck you. <laughs> um, how do you make your makeup look so natural? I like to go more precise with the application and not use a lot of product um but go precise and kind of like target you know the exact like little details usually um and i like to use stuff that works really well with my complexion and just complements my complexion and my um my um palette my color palette like my eye color my hair color stuff like that and i feel that's why it looks quite natural even though I do quite a bit um, because it really complements so well, you know? Um, you look like a Disney princess. You are so cute. Thank you so much. I would love to play Snow White one day. Maybe I'll get cast for Snow White. Um, if not, like if I ever get the chance, I'll like have to somehow suggest it and have it done or something so they can cast me like i'll pr like produce them uh, produce it with them <laughs> um anyways bye people bye love you'd be perfect for snow white right i think i would i'd be okay i feel for bell as well but bell as well <laughs> but i think you're literally Belle. Okay, see, somebody also said said that. Yeah, I think I could be good for Belle and Snow White. Um, but I think Snow White may be a bit better. I wish you will be cast for a Snow Live Action, for Disney's live action Snow White. I mean, there's a, a bunch of Cinderella's. And I mean, we don't have enough Snow White movies. The ones that we have are kind of like, mm. So there's room for more Snow White movies. Absolutely no problem. I hope in the future... I will be cast as her. Oh, give me a second. I have to um, grab my charger. Mm -hmm. um, got it. <laughs> give me a second because I'm having a bit of like a moment with my battery as I do. If you've ever been in a live stream with me, you know I always do have a little moment with no fucking battery. Okay. Do you smoke?